Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Sir Charles. Good evening, Mr. Barry. Have you done with my lady? I beg your pardon. Come, come, sir. I'm a man who would rather be known as a cuckold than a fool. I think, Sir Charles Linden, that you've had too much to drink. <laughs> uh... As it happens, your chaplain, Mr. Runt, introduced me into the company of your lady to advise me on a religious matter, of which she is a considerable expert. <laughs> He wants to step into my shoes. He, he wants to step into my shoes. <laughs> Is it not a pleasure, gentlemen, for me, as I am drawing near the goal, to find my home such a happy one? My wife's so fond of me that she's even now thinking of appointing a successor. Isn't it a comfort to see her like a prudent housewife, getting everything ready for her husband's departure? I hope you're not thinking of leaving us soon, Sir Charles. Not so soon, my dear, as you may fancy, perhaps. Why, man, I've been given over many times these four years, and there was always a candidate or two waiting to apply for the situation. I am sorry for you, Mr. Barry. It grieves me to keep you or any gentleman waiting. Had you not better arrange with my doctor or have the cook flavor my omelet with arsenic, eh? What are the odds, gentlemen, that I live to see Mr. Barry hang yet? <laughs> Sir, let those laugh that win. Gentlemen. Oh! <coughs> <coughs> I'll get a search. Have some brandy, Sir Charles. From a report in the St. James's Chronicle. Died at Spa in the Kingdom of Belgium, the Right Honourable Sir Charles Reginald Lyndon. Knight of the Bath, Member of Parliament, and for many years, His Majesty's representative at various European courts. He has left behind him a name which is endeared.